Basement, everybody. We're back. Yep, we're going to keep doing this. Uh, today's episode is going to be Bird Box. Uh, I'm sure at this point most of you have seen Bird Box, or at least seen the memes for it, you know, which is why I'm wearing this setup right here. The reason is, this is actually the optimal way to watch Bird Box. It's not a very good movie. Characters are trash. I mean, and that's putting it nicely. We have pretty much every bad, dumb horror movie stereotype you can think of. We have the gay Asian, the corn-fed simpleton, black dude trying to mac in the middle of a apocalypse. And on top of that, we have John Malkovich, who seems to think he's an iPhone commercial because this guy is just phoning it in. But I will say it was pretty entertaining to watch him list all the plot holes and flaws in logic as I was uh, noticing them throughout watching the movie. So I gotta say, that was a nice little touch of some meta humor, but we know it's not on purpose. Sandra Bullock, I'll admit, she did a fantastic job. She was actually very good in this movie. Sarah Paulson was also good while she was actually in the movie, but the characters, they're weird. I don't know, they, they, they're they in the beginning of the movie. I can't tell if they're supposed to be sisters or lovers. I don't know if she's there to greet her or to eat her, but I guess they're sisters. So she takes uh, Sandra Bullock to the hospital because she's pregnant. And from there, in the most vague oncoming of any sort of apocalypse of all time, people just start killing themselves. Like, you know, I guess, you know, they see something and their eyes go all fucking big, like they've just taken a bunch of ecstasy and they just start killing each other. That's a setup. Sandra Bullock makes her way into the house where she finds the rest of the characters and they just continue to make what I would consider just many of the poorest choices I've seen in a movie like this since Alien Covenant and Prometheus. I get it, you know, you need, you need a little bit, you know, you can't have these characters be that real smart, unless you don't have a movie, I understand that, but just some of the things they do is so, so dumb. Just, I just can't, just can't give it a pass. Just, they're so stupid. And on top of all that, this movie really feels like you have two different movies going on at the same time. You have the section where it's Sandra Bullock and some children in the, in the woods going through nature, and that part, I admit, is actually quite good. They actually hone in the things that do work about this movie because there are some things that actually work, I'm gonna be honest. You know, I think the premise, it's a good premise, and you know, it's unfortunate that they didn't do better with it because this could really have been some, you know, great atmosphere and tension going on throughout this movie. But anytime you think it's starting to get good, they go cut back to these doofuses hanging out in the house, just, and it's just, it's frustrating, you know, because I feel like this could have been a really good movie even. You know, I love Netflix as a platform, I think, Everything they do as far as TV and content goes has pretty much all been outstanding. Glow, Ozarks, Bojack Horseman, that's just to name a few. There's, you know, everybody's got their own ones that they can name, probably more than even I just mentioned, but this is not one of them, to be honest. I know it's been very popular with the memes and stuff, but it's just not a good movie. You know, it's unfortunate because this captured the zeitgeist in such a manner where it just, you know, this took over the holiday weekend, you know? Fuck Christmas, this was, everyone was talking about this. I mean, granted, a lot of it has to do with the fact that it costs about $15, if not more, to see Aquaman, but even with that, you know, you know they made like two Aquaman memes of like, you know, Aquaman with uh, plastic wrappers around his neck and he's dead, ah. Uh, you know, this, they're still making memes of this. By the time this actually comes out, it'll still be Bird Box memes going on, hopefully, so it won't seem totally irrelevant, but, you know, I gotta say, I wasn't really impressed with this movie. That's all there is to it. And that's the other thing with this movie, the monster. It's, I don't know, I guess they were trying to make it vague, you know, they kind of show some shadow things here and there, but I guess, you know, the idea I suppose was supposed to be, you know, it's something you leave to your imagination, you don't know what it is exactly. But then they have the scene where they have all these drawings that get spelled out, and it's all these drawings of the monster, and it's just, it's just like, okay, if you're gonna do that, you might as well just show them the damn monster. But, actually, as it turns out, there's a reason they did not. It's because the monster that they came up with the movie, and I'm not lying about this, the monster that came up for the movie was this. That's right. Their monster was going to literally be a felching baby. So, let's make that hashtag. Let's go make it go viral. This has been 90s Basic Kid. Like and subscribe at the bottom. And also, feel free to let me know what movies you'd want to see me do because, quite frankly, I could use ideas. Have a good one, everybody. Peace.